but anyways, on this one here, I think that this is the most iconic vehicle that we've seen in at least 40 years, 30 or 40 years. Yeah. This is, this is. This is uh, I specifically wanted to make something where, that looked like the future. Well, so, yeah. It's like, I mean, I think that the, really it's like if, what car would Blade Runner drive? <laughs> that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's, <laughs> that's kind of like what Very I was looking at. I mean, I mean, it's an uh, armored personnel carrier from the future. Exactly. And quite frankly, um, I, I wanted to do something like this. Yeah. When I was working at, um, we were working for um, uh, Land Rover and they, you know, there was a thing called Ju Judge Dredd. Yeah, Judge Dredd. They, Judge Dredd would drive this car for sure. Exactly. And that's what we wanted to do. I wanted yeah. to buy the frames, ship them over to uh, the States, and then I would put a Judge Dredd body on it. They wouldn't go for it. No, 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 that, that'll never work. This, on the other hand, is just absolutely phenomenal. When we were driving, there was fog and muck and yeah. whatnot. The, the wing mirrors were continuously fogging up, but it didn't matter. Once I found out that I could, so I just turned a turn signal on, I could see what was going on. If I needed to see something else, yeah. flip on the turn signal, the, the camera comes up as clear as day, perfect, perfect. And then I find out that you also can wash the, uh, wash the, uh, the glass, like the, uh, the lenses off. Brilliant, I mean, uh, I, I just don't understand why it is that no one else has kind of like jumped into this. Everybody else said, oh, there's a regulation. Well, that means that we, we just got to stop right there. And that's, that's the stupid part. But I, I, uh, I got a chance to see all the stuff. I mean, I'm really kind of impressed. From an engineering standpoint, this is like, this is like nothing. Nobody's got anything quite like this. So yeah. um, I'm, like I say, uh, I know you, you're pressed for time, but I have just one other thing I'd like sure. to talk about a little bit. So we have this iconic vehicle and It'll be, um, it'll be great. I'm hoping, hoping I can get a couple of them. So I, I know that this is going to be a great vehicle, but there's the other guys that are also uh, dying to get a Tesla, the $25,000 Tesla. And so I'm wondering where, where is that exactly? Where, where are you with that? Yeah, unfortunately, because we're a publicly traded company, I cannot comment on things that would have uh, a material impact on our financials. Uh, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, I, um, I'm hoping that that's not too far down the line. I really, really would like to see something where we can, um, where, like this one here, uh, I'm told that uh, the one that, the, I, I'm looking for the beast, the tri-motor and everything. Yeah. And, um, and I'd like to get two of those. And that vehicle is like a hundred plus grand. I think that, I think that that's the right price for this, but it's not the right price for the, for the kid that wants to take one to uh, college or whatnot, so that's why I'm I'm kind of anxious to find out what what it is that can be done for those uh, others that uh, that want to get into electrification but can't. So if we can't do that, then let me shift gears. And what do you think about well, the new? I can say a little oh. bit. I just can't tell you, you know, unit volume and dates because that yeah. has a mass. Uh, that then that is a. Uh, that is projecting the financials. Yeah. Um, so we obviously are we are working on a low cost electric vehicle that will be made in very high volume. Um, we're like, quite far advanced in that work. The you know I review the the, the production line plans for that every week, um, and I think the 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 revolution in manufacturing that will be represented by that car uh, will blow people's minds. It is not like any car production line that anyone's ever seen. Is this going to have the uh, basically um, unboxed system, or would this be too much of a question to ask? The, the thing, the thing that's most interesting about this is, is it's a production system. It's it's a level of production technology that is. Uh, far in advance of any automotive plant on Earth. I can hardly wait now. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be cool. It's going to be very um, cool, sure. Yeah, I think, we're, you know, um, and, and I should point out the, uh, that, that we will be making, the, 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 the first production line will be here in the Gigafactory in Texas, in, 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 this, in this facility. Oh, I thought it was going to be in Mexico or something. That'll be the second place. Hmm. Wow, that's way cool. 
It would take too long to complete the factory in Mexico. Well, this place here seems to be growing every time I come here. It seems to get bigger. Um, and yeah, we're so adding a, a significant extension on the south and um, adding more buildings on the, on the, we have 2,000 acres. So this is really just a small part of the property. Yeah. Well, I also, I kept hearing phase one, this is phase one. And so this is phase one. I can't imagine what all the other phases must be. So it's, yeah. And this building is, uh, is three times the size of the Pentagon. Yeah. 